You know, my wife told me, throw out that gray draping. Throw it out. We don't need it. And I was like, no, no. No, no, no. I've been keeping this up for 15 years in storage. And look, it finally came to use. I got here early, and I was like, I know what we need. It's always good to have some gray, black draping just Switches. lying around the house. Yeah. And I had my old lantern. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I hung that. See fit that? perfect. Your wife and, said, throw that out. And I'm and like, said, honey, this is going to come <laughs> in use. And sure, I cannot wait to rub it in her face when I get home. Sherlock Holmes. His methods are ingenious. Right there. He's a master of disguise. What have you done with Sherlock? Why, Watson? I never left. Amazing. What's it been like <laughs> reconnecting on this movie after 10 years? Well, you can see it's a nightmare. You know, it's just one dull conversation after another. <laughs> It's great. Come on. We're having a great time. You know, if you can engineer a job where you get to work with your actual friends, it's a great thing. It's not I highly recommend yes. it. Yes. Majesty. Would you mind if we had a picture together? Watson, who is going to take the photograph? I will take it. It's sort of a self-photograph. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. The back in time again. Over by the window, the lighting's much better. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my god! Mother of shit! Hey guys, here's today's daily fact. Now the Tin Man's makeup nearly killed him in The Wizard of Oz. That's right. Buddy Ebsen, who played the Tin Man in the classic film, was nearly killed by the aluminum-based makeup he wore for his role. According to his autobiography, he suffered debilitating symptoms, including his fingers and toes curling and stiffening, and his knees bending the wrong way, and an inability to breathe. Now remember to click here below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.